Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. This is actually my second time trying to do this video. I did film this, I think like two days ago, and I kind of like learned what I want to do for the next time. I was going to upload it, but I wasn't really happy with the results. thought I could do better, so I thought, let me film it again. But basically what today's video is about, as you guys can tell by the title, is using a bathrobe, um, like the waist part of your bathrobe to create heatless curls no heat the first time that i did it this side of my hair was like most of it was straight the back was completely straight i feel like because my hair is thin and short as you guys will see it's inevitable that like a huge section of my hair is going to be short because as you guys will see you wrap your hair around and this whole part doesn't really Get wrapped around anything it just kind of gets pulled down or to the sides so this time I think I'm gonna do it even tighter try it try it a little different hopefully it curls a lot better but I'm gonna go ahead and wet my hair my hair needs to be like done anyways it is pretty my hair gets so greasy so fast it's kind of it sucks as you guys can see I have really thin fine hair so I wanted to try this a few days ago and, and see does it work for fine thin hair and the answer is yes if you kind of like do the right technique I will say that as flat as my hair is now it's probably as flat as it's gonna be when you use this technique because everything's kind of being pulled down so honestly let's just get right into it and we can talk later so I'm gonna wet my hair and I'll be right back okay so as you guys can tell my hair is wet it is thin and fine so my whole point of this video is what to show you guys what it would look like on a fine thin hair i do think it would be really cute um it's just that the first time you kind of like learn as you go like the first time you do it you'll be like okay this is what i want to do next time but basically take your bathrobe if you have longer hair this would look so pretty you probably do want to do this at night especially if you have thicker hair because it's going to take like a while to dry out even if you have thin hair it takes like at least several hours um, and place it near the front. I did use a clip last time, but I don't have a clip right now. So we're just gonna roll with it. And then essentially what you do is just take sections of hair, you tie it around the bathrobe, well, this portion of the bathrobe, and then you keep grabbing more hair and then keep tying it around like all the way to the back. So I'm gonna kind of like split my hair in half just so that I can evenly grab it and I'm going to start all over. So I didn't want to make it tight the first time, but I kind of regret not making it tight the first time because then my curls were just so, I don't know, they were just like so wonky. What I also realized is that I kind of grabbed hair towards the front and kept this part, this robe piece towards the front. So then once I got to the back, most of the hair was just being pulled down. That's why most of the back was straight. I don't know if that makes sense. So what I wanna try this time is kinda of like work my way this way instead of this way. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but we'll see. We will see. This is like a trial and error. For all I know, it's gonna look just as interesting second time around. We also don't wanna pull it too far back from the front because you do wanna have like curls in the front because that's where I feel like it looks the prettiest and then grab start grabbing from here so that especially if you have short hair so that it can get um you can have some curl in the back because if you don't grab hair here and wrap it like i said it's just going to be straight so i don't know if any of what i'm saying is making sense to you guys like in my mind it makes sense but you want to have as much hair as possible curled around this thing because otherwise like i said it's just going to be straight especially if you have short thin hair like i do like this is, this video is for all the short thin hair people and i left out this tip last time and that was just like a big no-no because my hair is short as it is so it was just like curl curl straight it just didn't look nice i have like these clear white hair hair bands they're like specifically for hair and it's easier because you just you don't have to tie these more than once like they're so little that you just put it through once and you're good to go you could do this that way you don't have all this hanging around but i'm just gonna pull it through anyway otherwise i'm gonna have like these things just chilling on the side of my face oof you could probably do this with like any kind of material but i feel like because this is so soft it's not going to create weird bends all right just make sure it's tucked underneath this is kind of what it looks like it probably looks really crazy but this part is probably gonna be straight so we will see 
we will see. And I'm gonna go ahead and do the same thing to this side. So essentially, this is what you look like. I feel like, um, what's her name from Star Wars? It was in Friends. You know the episode of Friends? I don't know. I'll try to like, insert it here. I'll try to insert a picture to show you guys what I'm talking about. That is who I feel like. So now I'm going to spend about... It takes about... It took about like 3-4 hours, I want to say, for it to be like dry. It was still a little bit damp, but it was dry for the most part. This is what it looks like from the sides and the back. Probably looks really crazy. But I thought this would be a really fun video to do because I watched a few people do like heatless TikTok, trying the TikTok heatless curls challenge type thing. And I was like, let me try that. Especially for all the thin, fine hair, short, thin, fine hair people out there. So once it is dry, I'll be right back, take them out, and we'll see the end result. Hopefully second time is better than first. So I would say my hair is pretty dry. Still feels like it could be damp, but I'm going to go exercise right now. Uh, it's probably 6 o'clock. Yeah, 6.30. There's a live class at One Peloton that I want to join. It has nothing to do with this video, <laughs> but I don't want to be exercising with like these guys right here. So let's just take them out and see what we have. I'm hopeful that they don't look crazy. But we will see. Could totally look really crazy. Oh, this one's not that cute. And I have a feeling these are going to be not that cute too. Because they're all kind of like pulled back. So I guess you win some, you lose some. What can you do? Oh, these are cute. Look at these bouncy curls. I'm not sure what it looks like in the back, but let's do this side. Okay, this now today this side is kind of like crappy. Whereas last time it was this side that was crappy. I don't know what happened to this side here. Maybe because it's still a little bit damp. Yeah, I could feel it that it's a little bit damp, like a tiny bit. So that definitely, definitely ruined it. But look how cute these curls can be. Uh, this is essentially the same thing as like those Amazon heatless curls. You just put those rods in, those bendy straw things, and you wake up with like really cute curls. This is essentially the same thing, but it was just like a trending thing on TikTok using um, a bathrobe thingamajigger. So I'm going to go ahead... And kind of like spread it out brush it out with my hands fingers I mean and then the back as usual if you have long hair this could look really pretty but this just looks crazy and um, if you have like shorter hair I just I'm not really a fan like I don't think I would go out in public like this because there's a lot of tweaking that needs to happen Alright, this is probably the best that it's going to look. Like I said, if you have longer hair, this definitely looks better. But I just wanted to try it out for the sake of trying it out, for the sake of the tube. Would I do this? I don't know. Um, just because, I don't know if it's worth it doing heatless curls this way. I might as well just use like a heat protectant. And I want to try like those Amazon heatless curl straw things. Maybe that will be a whole lot better because that way you can actually add curls to the back. So that's probably something that I'm going to do next. I think that looks really, a lot of people have tried it and... It just looks promising, but this is just one of those viral Dalgona coffee type things that I wanted to try. And I wanted to see, will it work for like my fine, thin, short hair? Because everybody that tries it has like thicker hair or a longer hair. So, here you go. Short, thin, fine hair. This is probably what it's going to look like. What I saw that one girl do on that video that was viral, she did like a ponytail. And she kept these cute pieces out. And then this piece out because it was like the curliest, the curliest ones. And this could be like a messy cleaning day type hairstyle because all you do. Let me see if I could. I need a scrunchie. No, I need go get one. All right, guys, I turned off the light so that the light behind me isn't shining. But this is another hairstyle that I saw the girl do but she obviously had way more hair than me so if you have thin hair like me um i think this would be a cute like a hairstyle that you could sleep in and then wake up in the morning take it out put it up like this and you're not using heat on your hair but honestly i just wanted to see what it would look like on fine thin short hair 
So here you go. Might be the same. You might get better results. Um, just wanted to try it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see you guys in future videos.